with one of my executive coaching clients this morning. They had a situation where they were going to need to present some information in front of um, an audience that they were otherwise intimidated. They wanted to rehearse this conversation and see how it sounded and, you know, kind of get their head around practicing. I said, okay, we can do that. But first I want to talk to you about where the root of some of these nerves are coming from. And usually when I start down this path, I get the response of, but like, where's the couch? Do I need to lay down? Is this therapy or is this coaching? Hmm. Well, it all kind of connects together. Life and how we take in, internalize, and experience it from the very, very beginning starts to shape and form how we feel about our confidence and our level of bravery and courage walking into situations like this. So I asked them, we've all had one of these moments in childhood. When was the first time that you felt scared to bring information forward? Usually not expecting this conversation. Sometimes it takes a little bit to unpack and go back there. The fear is really internal. In order to unpack that fear, we need to go back and identify that moment you can take the synapsis that is connected in the brain where it was wired from the very first experience that the person may have felt intimidated or afraid to bring information forward. And you can start to rewire it to a feeling and level of confidence. We talked through what it was. I asked them to describe everything. What, what did you, what did you smell? What was, what noise was around you? Um, what room were you in? Who was the person or people that you were bringing information to? When did the feeling actually start? What did that feel like? What was their response to the information that you provided? So once we started talking deeper about this experience, I asked about the outcome. It wasn't positive. And that would be where the first root of this occurred. So we talked about what the response was and how that made the person feel. And then I said, okay, picture yourself back there now. What response would you have rather have heard? And I had them role play in reverse, a new response, a response that would have been more favorable and supportive. If you could go back in time and see that kind of response that you just described, would you feel confident today going into the situation? Of course, of course, yes, of course we would. Yes, that would have been great to hear something different than what I originally heard. So on the positive side, when I asked them to describe how they felt in the imagined positive outcome scenario, they had complete energy renewal. They were excited. They did not have the sweaty palms. They felt like they had accomplished something. They felt pride. It was a very, very different visceral response from even inside. That is where the rewiring starts to occur. So then we had a forward projection conversation. This just goes to show and share that there is possibility and opportunity. If you're willing to look back, anytime you have a feeling of something that is getting in your way, it is all imagined and it is all rooted from somewhere, from something that we've been through. So it's imagined because it hasn't happened yet. You don't actually know what the people are going to do or say. So you have an opportunity in this preparation window to rewire some of what has happened in your life to be able to approach things with more bravery, courage, less fear, the ability to get out of your own way. You can recreate what that feeling is and then therefore impact the outcome of what the real situation will be if you give yourself the time and space. But you also have to be willing to be vulnerable enough to go back and think about times where it's happened before, think about why, think about what you were feeling, think about the surroundings, and then go forward. And yes, it is role play, it is imagination, it is all hypothetical, but our subconscious lives in a place where it responds to these things. So you can shift and change how you would go into a meeting or a conversation or an approach to something that you're nervous about just by doing this simple activity on yourself. In a lot of ways, we are so conditioned to have the behaviors and the responses that we do in our day-to-day -day business world. And it all starts with the relationships and the circumstances from way back when. Those circumstances and relationships taught us how we see ourselves and how others see us, which is where our esteem started to develop. That esteem translates into confidence into an adult life. That confidence, even though they're personal situations, we're talking about family dynamics and upbringing, it translates into a business context today because we are who we are. As whole people, we show up the way that we know and that we have been conditioned to show up. So 
If you are ever experiencing this, try this. Try to find the very first time you felt whatever feeling is going on inside here. Try to unwind it after you identify it, recreate it, and then project forward into what you are going into, the outcome that you're afraid of and the outcome that you want to happen. And then focus on that outcome and replay that feeling over and over and over as a part of your preparation going into the circumstance that you're facing. You will see a different outcome and you will feel it from the minute you try this exercise. If you do this, I would love to hear stories about how it went. You can email me, carrie at carrielane.com or you can find me on LinkedIn. You can also anytime comment here on the video. Good luck. Oh,